What is up everybody, Gary Simon here. So today we are going to be taking a look at 10 random ugly website designs. Now, when I say ugly, I'm saying these are brutalist websites. Now you may have heard of this term before, brutalism. It actually has, uh, was spawned from architecture back in the 50s, but there's also something called brutalist web design or brutalist UI design. And we're going to take a look at 10 of these. Now there's a fine line between a person who absolutely can't design at all, who tries to design a website, which is just usually butt ugly, naturally, and somebody who's a skilled designer, yet tackles a brutalist web design. So what is brutalism in web design? Well, essentially, it's just ignoring all the fundamentals that we see that make up a modern layout these days. So maybe there's not enough contrast, maybe there's too big of type, uh, maybe there's not enough white space. So we're gonna take a look at 10 of these websites. I'll give you a link with a lot more you can check out. And perhaps it might be an aesthetic that might fit for your right project next time on. All right, let's get started. Now wait just one freaking second. If you're interested in this sort of thing in UI design, then you should definitely check out designcourse.com, which is going to be releasing very shortly here on January 4th of 2022. And you'll be able to enter your email if it hasn't yet arrived at that date to be notified when it releases. All right, here we go. Here's that list of random 10 that I just kind of opened up here from this article. And here is the very first one. It's called the outline.com. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so you know what? Right off the bat, I can already tell there is a, a skilled designer who actually designed this because we could see there's white space here, there's white space in here. It's actually framed very, very well. There's a strong headline uh, you know, with the large size. So we, we already have an established uh, visual hierarchy with the typo typography right here. Uh, we could see there's a, a menu here. Oh, this is, this is actually designed really quite well. Uh, it still is of the, the brutalist approach, but you, you can tell a, a well-rounded designer went for this approach specifically. Um, of course, we have this weird sort of effect in the background. I would say if, if that, that sort of image, this cropped out image wasn't in the background, I would say this isn't even brutalist in my opinion. Um, so let's just continue. All right, so yeah, animated GIFs like this, you're gonna see it's a telltale sign of, uh, of, of the brutalist approach. Uh, what's, what, what does this even serve? These are like wall anchors coming out of Swiss cheese. I have no freaking clue. <laughs> it just says read more at the bottom. So a lot of at times it's not just a pure uh, aesthetic with uh, brutalism, it's also um, UX. Uh, like w why would you even do this? You know, why would you put this here? So it's not just all about what things look like. This part is actually not bad at all. You can see the underlapping headline here or uh, title of this section. Again, very typical. Uh, if this was, you know, a standard design, we'd say we need more white space underneath it, you know. Uh, but this is the approach. These cards are actually pretty solid, even though some of them have different type, as you can see. Like this is um, all caps serif font right here, um, and then these, of course, are sans serif. So they're all over the place. The alignment is different. Definitely the brutalist approach. All right, let's check out another one. All right, so another thing you'll find is uh, cursor icons being replaced, and they're not real nice, like thin outline ones that you might see from some of like the the AWW awards uh, sites. Uh, so that's one thing you'll see. It's typical minimal white space and a navigation. Again, all right, what what is happening? All right, so if you come up here. <laughs> it's just randomly pulling this image upwards. Like, no, no sense, no rhyme or reason. Essentially, um, let's oh, well, let's click enter website. <laughs> All righty. So yeah, I've seen this uh, before. This whole approach where you're just basically scattering. It's like the uh, the old Windows uh, OSs back in the day used to do this when it ran out of space or memory or whatever. Let's come down here. Oh yeah, it feels like, okay, every time you scroll down, they've applied a 3D transformation of some sort or a skew on uh, these image galleries. So you can still see it's a two column approach, uh, but yeah, definitely not something you would advocate for for the best usability, but that's not the case with brutalism. We're not necessarily worried about the best usability and doing everything exactly as is. All right, uh, next up, okay, Adult Swim. I didn't even see that one. 
I uh, yeah, so this is from adultswim.com, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so I don't even know what this is or what if it's, it's, it's in relation to, but if we're talking about strictly card design, not the greatest card designs. I uh, We have just a, a lot of high, high contrast areas. We have watch now, play now, play now, watch now. Okay, maybe these are games versus cards, but there's no distinction between them outside of just uh, the, 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 the actual text. So we have that. We have this sort of grid gradient in the background. We have this old reminiscent sort of just type, just randomly uh, animating here. Again, not something you would advocate, something you saw, saw back in the day with banners and marquees and all that different stuff. So yeah, not bad for that one. <laughs> okay, here's def here's a great example I would say. You have a lot of text just to, that's just dispersed everywhere. This is a monochromatic approach. Um, we have vertical text. I and there's just no rhyme or reason to the layout. There's no alignment essentially. Yeah, we have a uh, visual hierarchy established in the middle with a the person's name or the website. I don't even know what the heck that is. Uh, <laughs> with a strange image, but then we have over here just left the line with hardly any white space. Uh, an image over here, an image in the lower right corner. Again, very strange. Not even something you can, I can't even click on anything. We see leak contact, we have the bar. So that's their navigation. Things are just spread out all over the nav items, just in random areas. So I, I would say definitely, um, this is a skilled designer who probably tackled this. I Just because if you weren't, you would probably put your navigation items next to each other because that's just standard and typical. Next up. All right, oh, we, look at this. We got a fish icon. We got a fish icon in place of the cursor. All right, so this is actually, again, I probably have to say this is a skilled designer here. Uh, a lot of white space between these elements I've, with the actual thumbnails. Again, what happens if we click these? So notice the very lack of white space in the navigation. Pretty typical uh, among some of these sites that we've seen already. So this brutalist approach, again, it's it's not one that I would say is just absolutely but ugly like some of the other ones. Next up, lasereyes.cool. Oh my God, I just barely hit my scroll wheel and look what it's doing to us. It's giving us, okay, so it's kind of like a, an approach of a, like a, um, what do you call the lottery things, the, the what do you call those things, cha-ching? Okay, I'm being slow. Um, look at that, and then they just, what is, I didn't even click on anything. I literally didn't click on anything. I think it's just uh, set on this uh, JavaScript set timeout or something, and it just is gonna take you to a random place. Still though, I think whoever did this, skilled designer, I obviously skilled front end developer as well. Uh, you can navigate around. Okay, so you can, apparently you're not allowed to use your mouse scroll wheel, you have to use your keyboard. <laughs> All right, hit space or scroll bar to play. All right, so hit play. All right, there's actual, um, there's audio playing as well. It's going through my, my headphones. So yeah, this is uh, definitely what I would consider a brutalism and somebody who is also skilled. Fake news and other reasons you shouldn't hire me. There we go. So that kind of goes with the stigma of, uh, of, of, of brutalism. You know, you're taking opposite approaches. This person wants to get hired. Uh, but they're 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 playing the antagonist essentially, and clearly somebody who is skilled. I can tell you that for certain. Um, again, big bold headline hero section. Uh, we have a yeah. Look at that. I mean, even this is designed well. So this this would be a minimal brutalist website um, or a brutalist website that's that's definitely come from a skilled designer. Uh, for sure, yeah, this is actually probably one of the best ones that I've seen in terms of just being designed well, but still being considered brutalism. All right, just a few more we'll check out. Again, I can tell already this person's good. Uh, let's refresh this. There's probably some, yeah, just some initial animation. And again, I brutalism. I mean, who, who, what, what typical website takes multiple paragraphs and makes them this large? So that's a brutalist aesthetic, even though this looks actually pretty good. Good contrast, good topography, um, good colors. Yeah, very simple. I would definitely consider this brutalist as well. 
All right, so now we looks like we have some sort of a WebGL, probably maybe 3JS occurring here. Can't even read this barely. Uh, if we click it, oh wow, oh man, that 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 I uh, gradient up top just gave me flashbacks to 97. I'm telling you, a little bit hard to use because I'm not sure where the hell I'm supposed to go. I just keep on scrolling down, and then randomly the uh, <laughs> the navigation kind of just shows up. This is a very confusing one, but yeah, I I could tell it's a skilled designer though. Whoever created this knows what they're doing for sure, especially in the front end development department at least. All right, let's check out another one. Black Lives Matter, huge. Okay, so this is real typical as well. Really large, very little white space on the inside container topography. Continue to website. Uh, you actually have a, a, a splash. This is essentially a, a splash page where it has the continue to website. Now, back in the day when I used to create websites, the early 2000s, late 90s, you would have what's called a splash page. And all it would be is like your logo or your headline and then click button to enter website. So in terms of UX, it's a terrible practice because it requires people to take action just to get to the main content. Um, but again, that could be a, brutal, a brutalist approach. So if we click continue to website. Look at that. We got the cursor icon that's being changed to something strange like a, a bomb exploding. Oh, look at that, what's happening? I clicked it and then now it's pushing everything away. Sort of interesting. This seems like it might be some sort of a portfolio of some sort. <laughs> look at that. Okay, so it gives little bombs and it's affecting everything. That's actually pretty cool. Now, of course, if I refresh this and I did not want that to happen, I would simply just not click on it. That's actually quite cool. And I like it. Awesome, awesome stuff. So now you guys know what brutalism is. All right, everybody, so that is brutalism in web design. So let me know what you think about this aesthetic in the comments below. Me personally, I think it has a purpose. However, the purpose is very limited. So if you're tackling about 200 projects for different clients, you know, maybe you can do one or two of these uh, depending on the context. And of course, the context would have to be something that uh, has a brand appeal that's supposed to be very fun and maybe just counterculture in general. So as always, make sure to subscribe, check out designcourse.com, and I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>